It is said that King Solomon knew all the secrets of nature, that he even knew how to speak the language of the animals. One day, as the curtain of evening drew over the sky, an eagle came and landed next to the king. The eagle said, My master, what's the matter? You seem troubled. King Solomon replied, I'm trying to solve the mystery. God commanded that I build a temple, but he also said that I cannot use any metal. For metal is used to make weapons, and weapons are destructive, certainly not fitting for a house of peace. But how am I supposed to cut the rock? How am I supposed to chisel all the stone for the temple? It's truly impossible, but impossible, but I know that God would not command me to do something impossible. So I'm trying to figure it out. And the eagle says, indeed, this is an issue, but I know the secret. The secret to your issue is found in the Garden of Eden. So King Solomon says, then it's truly hopeless, for it's written that no man or woman should ever return to the Garden of Eden. Well, the eagle responds, then it's no issue. I can fly in and out of the Garden of Eden as I please. I'll go there and I'll return with the secret. They agreed. Days pass, and eventually the eagle returns with a nest in his talons. Places a nest gently below the king's feet. It says, here you go, my master. There is the secret. The king looks into the nest and sees all these little worms, the size of barley grains, wiggling around. The king says, what are these creatures? The eagle responds, this is called a shamir worm. This worm eats rock. It was created by God to help you build the temple. That way you do not have to use any metal. King Solomon is so joyful. He thanks the eagle and adds, people say that I am wise, but truly there is greater wisdom in even the smallest of God's creatures.